Hey guys and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as Castile. So we're starting this fight with the Ottomans and the UK. Fucking Tunisia is down here. Russia's Russian. <laughs> Russian around. Burgundy's in this fight. This is if I look at the Diplo map right now. It's like it's such a war. <laughs> it's a war zone out there. Is it like a world war this? Scandinavia is like, nope. So is Austria. Austria is not in it. A papal state. And the East... Eastern world. Don't give a fuck. But, uh, but yeah, this is a big fight, you know? Russia against the Ottomans. Me against Britain and the Ottomans. Oh, it's going good. It's going great. Oh, I don't want to move up there. That's right. I was waiting until this other army got in place. So that this army didn't really pose a, pose a threat. And then that's how I was going to... Uh, spacebar, hello? Oh, okay, apparently spacebar's not pausing my game. That's not good. Weird, I'm going to have to... Uh, hmm, I wonder if my options have somehow become fucked. Oh, yes. The, uh, the fantastic options of EU4. Strange, that's really annoying. Uh, no, I don't want this crap. I want to uh, piece out the Netherlands separately. Arr! It's really annoying, I can't spacebar it. Play time again. I wonder if I push, like... No, I can't even use that. Can I, uh... If I select multiple armies... Yeah, other keyboard shortcuts are working. That's really strange, I don't know why spacebar and... I don't know why these shortcuts aren't working for changing speed, etc. Oh, that's really annoying. That's, uh, oh, not speed 4. Not speed 5, rather. Win the Siege of Cuneo. That's fine. Let's move off of here so that people stop freaking sitting on top of me. I'm going to play this like a multiplayer game right now for this episode where I just leave it on speed 3 and just try to do everything at speed 3. You guys are sitting there for a reason, that's good. These guys must have got access to Tripoli. Tripoli, are you willing to give me- oh, you are. Give me military access, Tripoli. Alrighty. Ah, I need to pause it. I need to pause it. Let's, um... So one of our armies here and the other one there. Actually, in that vein we should probably send... Ah, that's right. Oh, the Ottomans decided that they didn't want any of Tunisia's shit. And came to attack them. Right. What do we want to do? We want to continue with this. We want to take this place off of the Netherlands. They're only taking 1% attrition, that's good. Portuguese and Mexico is wanting to white pieces. GB are wanting to give his campaign Zapotec. They're also taking zero attrition, but they're taking attrition. Taking pretend attrition, apparently. There we go. And they're moving to Mixtec now. You are moving to... Everyone's moving to Campish. Okay, where is my... General. Her general? Do I have one? Did he die? Ah, we've got one there. And... Oh, where's the other one? Oh, that was the wrong one. Where are you? Oh, you don't need to be there. At least not right now. Fire! Artillery! You guys head up there, you guys go up there. 92,000 men, that's a decent amount of men. When are they going to arrive? 21st of November? Oh no, they decided to move. Huh, okay then. 
Zapotec on the 30th of November, we get there on the 4th of December. Ah, oh, shit. Are they gonna move? Yes, thank god. Alrighty. Netherlands, I want to wipe peace, me. Portuguese, Louisiana, I want out. No, no, no. It's like everyone here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Netherlands have got a lot of men. 13 colonies have brought some men down. Newfoundland. English Mexico are who we're wanting to uh, to peace out. Oh, I can't peace them out separately. Could peace out Portuguese Louisiana. I don't care about them. I'm not going to take any land off of them, so... There we go, would you look at that? They've just lost a chunk of men from here. 10,000 men? Not too shabby. There we go, that's the easiest way to defeat 10,000 men ever. Ah, you moved to Mixtec. Peace over from California? Oh god, I wish I could pause that game. Am I going to take any land off of California? Don't think so. Yes, I will peace you out, California. That's fine. So that is another... Oh, no, there's no... Oh, it's these men here. Okay. Well, that's good, because that means that we can take over Mixtec. You're all going to Mixtec on the 5th of January. Okay, then. Let's see if you still want to go to Mixtec on the 5th of January. Oh, they do. Let's check what the, uh, what this looks like. Ooh, okay. It's just not that, it's not actually that good. Let's see if we can get them to stop going there on the 5th of January. Yeah, they're all still going there. Four, five, oh, wait, none. Okay, so you want to go up there now. On the 23rd of January. Oh, well, that's still going. 2nd of February to Zapotec. That's when I wish I could just freaking pause it. One prestige, 25... Eh, uh, one stability. Stability, 25 prestige and 40 admin power or... 100 mil power. What do we need? What would help us the most? Admin, no. Military power, yes, because we've got this idea and we don't have an admin idea. Or one stability. Do we need stability? No, we don't need prestige either. Let's get 100 military power. And let's get Esprit de Corps. Or Esprit de Corps. And we get Forced March, which is even fucking better. So that's five Discipline and Forced March. It's great. And defend do we want Defensive or do we want Quality Ideas? Quality Ideas give you 7.5 Discipline and this just gives you Attrition at the end. Reinforce Speed, Fort Defense, Maintenance Modifier, Maneuver, Morale and Army Tradition. Whereas this gives you Combat Ability, freaking... Artillery combat ability and discipline. Yeah, we're going for quality ideas. You've unlocked the quality ideas group. And we can now force march as well. Perfect. This one's the one that we actually want to take over. Ah, no, Paz. New Viceroy in, Viceroy in Castilian Mexico. So I send a military candidate. Great Britain's wanting a peace offer. Nope. If they weren't in mixed tech, if they were still there, I would go and attack them. Where are you going? You're going to... Where? To Hakapakatakatan. Yeah, no bother. 
On you go. New Viceroy in Castilian Peru. Keep him in the game, limit desire, or change him. Peace all from Portuguese in Mexico. White piece, no thanks. Yeah, they didn't actually move, interestingly enough. Let's um let's send an army around here. Netherlands want a peace offer? Nope. Have we not have we still not taken No, almost there. Ah, can we pause this, please? I didn't even realise that our men went forth. Uh, or rather, I didn't realise our men had made it to Alexandria. Let's move to Rashid. Do we still have a core on this? We do. Alrighty. So let's siege down that land. Oh, for God's sakes. Really, Moroccan nationalists? Really? Arr. That's really annoying. Beneath nationalists. <laughs> That's funny. Right, we just need this place to tick over for us. We need to watch this. These guys. Oh my god! It would so, be so much nicer if we could actually pause the game. Oh, for fuck's sake! See what I mean? Force march. Get there now. Oh god. Everyone just fucking get on top of that army. The Siege of Holland is over, that's great. Let's uh let's peace out the Netherlands and get them as an as a vassal. There we go. That's all we want off of the Netherlands. Cause that means that we've got a that's our our very first voter. And the HRE. There you go, see? Netherlands is an elector, so then we need to start getting the other ones so that we can actually be elected. Let's move you down to Orléans. Let's move you down to Berry, because you're not needed there. We should be able to peace out France pretty soon. God, I can't believe that, that we lost that fight. Netherlands is now a vassal. We are in control of a war against Poland, Switzerland and Venice. Okay. God. Switzerland don't happen to be a voter, are they? Augsburg, Bohemia, Brandenburg, Hesse, Trier, Milan and the Netherlands. No, they're not. And we've took control of this war against Poland, Switzerland and Venice. Well, I'll tell you what. The part of revolt cause or annul treaties. Let's uh, just get them to concede defeat, that's all I really care about. I don't care about what else is happening. Just concede defeat, yeah, sure. Stop that war. Let's quit it. Hans has entered military coalition against us. That's fine. At this point, we're actually getting to be the, like the sides that it's not going to matter much. Seventh of April. Wow, it takes forever to move. Uh, I wish I could pause it easier. Ah, we won the battle of Zapotec. Beautiful. Let's move this army up here. This army can go to Mixtech. Let's uh, stop your force march, but keep this army on force march. And you guys can come up here as well. We want to keep this army on force march so that we can catch them and just wreck them as soon as they stop moving. Right, this is still sieging. That's good. And uh, we don't need to worry about anything else there. We should be able to piece France out soon enough. This here is bugging me. Because I can't do anything against this. I might just accept the demands and lose 25 prestige. Who the hell are you? Kilwa. Kilwa. Okay. 
You're gonna get shit on, son. Like, I've got a lot of... Like, all of these colonies have a decent amount of men. Oh, well, I didn't realise that GB had dropped some men down here again. Ugh, idiots. Beneath nationalists again. Austria is in a coalition against us. Fuck's sake, Austria. I was just in a war with you. Where are they going now? They're heading to Husatec or Huastec, which is up there. Oh, I didn't actually realise. No, I paused that. God damn, not having a space bar. Why are Castilla and Mexico not wrecking those guys? Is Castilla and Mexico not actually in this fight? These guys are going to... Tarasco? Where the hell... Oh, Tarasco's here. Hey! Portugal are now threatening my trade. 23rd and the 26th of June. We get there on the 23rd of June. So we should be alright to uh, to stomp at least one of the armies that's here. Oh no, apparently not. There we go, and... We rolled pathetically. Oh, we still stomped them though. Good. Let's move this army down to Guatemala. No GB, piss off. Portuguese Mexico can also piss off. I want basically 90% of English Mexico. That's why this. That's why we declared the war, to be fair. Um, these guys are still kicking about. I don't know why they've been left so long. Anyway, I'm going to call it an episode here. That way I can also nip out and try and fix my uh, my speed settings. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.